Stop growing like everyone else. If you've got a greenhouse and your plants aren't thriving, this might be why. I wasn't even going to make this video yet, but then Tom Fu dropped a comment down in the comment section in my last video saying he's trying to grow tomatoes in Ohio by April. Tom, this one's for you. And I promise you'll thank me later. All right, here's the deal. If you're not adding CO2 to your grow space, you're sabotaging your plants, period. So what's the secret sauce? It's CO2. Yep, carbon dioxide. Sounds pretty obvious, right? Maybe. But here's the truth. Most people miss why it matters and how to actually do it. And I promise, once you understand this, you'll never grow the normal way ever again. Think about it like this. Your car runs fine on just regular gas, right? Most people use it because all they're doing is just driving to work or maybe even picking up groceries. But what if you're building a race car? Regular fuel isn't gonna cut it. CO2 is like nitromethane for your plants. While normal growers are out there using gasoline, the pros who are actually crushing it, they're injecting their cars with NOS. That's the difference. Your plants are like, finally somebody gets me. If you're aiming to grow tomatoes in Ohio and have them cranking out fruit by April, you're not just a regular driver. You're driving a funny car and you need CO2 to hit that 11,000 horsepower. Here's how to add CO2 to your grow space. You've got some options, some are easier than others, but all are pretty much game changers. Propane heaters are my go-to for the winter. A non-vented propane heater, it's super simple. You're heating your grow space and boosting your CO2 levels at the same time. Two birds, one stone. It's a win-win, right? Want more precision? Get a CO2 tank or a generator. Hook it up, adjust the levels, and boom! Your plants are now in beast mode. Here's a creative hack also. I've heard of people routing the exhaust from a vented heater into their greenhouse with solenoids. Sounds crazy, right? Maybe. But effective? Absolutely. So pick your weapon, just one. Now you're thinking, okay, cool, but why does this even matter? It's simple math. At 58 degrees, photosynthesis slows way down. Plants act like they're half asleep, but when you've got CO2 pumping, they perform at 58 degrees just like they do at 75 degrees. That's huge. Winter, no problem. Slightly cooler temps, heh, no big deal. Your plants will keep grinding like it's peak season. So what's the translation? Faster growth, bigger yields, and healthier plants. Oh, thanks, Cloud. Here's the kicker. Plants with CO2 can handle higher levels of light, which means explosive growth if you've got your lighting game on point. So don't be basic. Be the Navy SEAL of growing. Without CO2, it's like you're running a marathon in flip-flops. Sure, you're gonna finish someday, but if you're serious about growing, whether it's tomatoes, cucumbers, or something else, it's time to suit up and play like a pro. Don't just hope for a good season. Average growers blame the weather. Great growers make the weather inside of their grow space, and CO2 is definitely your ultimate cheat code. Last thought before you go. Now that you know the secret sauce, there's no excuse to stay stuck. Pick one of the methods I just laid out and start today. Your plants are waiting to transform into revenue, generating machines, but only if you step it up. If this helped, drop a comment down in the comment section. And if you've got any questions about bottles, heaters, or anything else, ask below. I'll get back to you.